How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and talk FIFA 23 for a change fellas because FIFA 23 is just another game in the FIFA series, another copy and paste title to add to the FIFA collection for everything just to be reset and we do it all over again. Unlocking the same players, the same cards all over again. FIFA 23 is a game we love to hate fellas. We love the game but we also hate the game at the same time. If you are thinking of buying FIFA 23 just remember it's the same game as last year and it has taken more backward steps than forward and if you play this game all the time I'm sure you are as frustrated as I am with this game and hopefully you haven't rinsed your wallet too bad again this year getting that gold messy for the 10th time in a row so over the next few minutes I'm going to be talking about everything that's wrong when it comes to FIFA 23's ultimate team so if you do like that sort of stuff of rants raves and everything in between don't forget to leave a like hit the subscribe button I will be doing plenty more FIFA 23 content in the future so if you do like that stuff as I said don't don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is constant pressure. This tactic is so bloody annoying, fellas. It really is. EA need to punish players more than what they're doing now because it is becoming a joke. They can just use it at any time of the game. Maybe restrict it so they can only use it at the end of games or whether they're down by a certain amount of points or something because something needs to be done because friendlies are completely broken. Just constant pressure spam from both teams over and over and over again when you literally have no one to pass to and it becomes a joke added with a press you just have no chance other than lob kick the ball up the field and hopefully you win a 50 50 header and players think that that's fun to play doing that way too many times every single friendly game you're coming up against constant pressure these are meant to be friendlies it becomes a joke when players have more intent to make tackles they cut passing lanes better it just feels like a get out of jail free card even though the player doesn't deserve to win so the next thing i want to talk about is counter play through ball if you want to play like everybody else doing the same thing over and over and over again the so-called meta this is the play for you just counter play through ball it is so overpowered it's becoming kind of a joke how bad it really is fellas plus so many players just use it over and over and over again if you don't have fast center backs or the right tactics on you will find it very difficult to defend in this game i like like playing passing football not just kick it upfield through ball and it's an easy run in on goal because the players just don't read it it becomes very very boring to defend the same thing every single game it's been a problem for years they finally patched it a little bit last year but then they just reverted back to it why did they do that I, oh, I just don't get it man I really don't I don't understand why they do something and then revert it in the next game and then it's broken and then they patch it halfway through to do the cycle again and then it'll be broken the following year and the cycle just continues it really really pisses me off so the next thing i want to talk about is unresponsive gameplay is it just me fellas or does this game just feel very very unresponsive dribbling passing shooting all feel slow and sluggish like dribbling's a bit better when you hold r1 but at the end of the day this game just feels so slow you never feel in total control of the ball ever with this new touch system it's just a joke sometimes you're not even holding turbo and you touch the ball like you're holding turbo and then other times when you are holding turbo you don't do a bad touch at all it's completely random look i've never been a great dribbler but this is just very very sluggish it really is how bad that this game is maybe it is due to the lag at the end of the day but to be honest the speed of the defender with the sluggish movement just makes this impossible to just dribble around players they have three or four goes at you if you're not holding r1 and even then they still get two or three goes at you and then i can't forget about the auto tackle what a joke it takes the whole skill out of the game that ai should not be making tackles for you now let's talk passing passing is just one of those things i've never been the greatest passer but this year the power and the ac accuracy i'm mumbling i'm ran i'm raving fellas but the accuracy just feels a bit off to me oh why don't you look just do it in one motion man I've been able to make simple passes in pretty much every FIFA, but this one I just can't figure it out. Yeah, I do make bad decisions, but some of these passes just leave my head spinning. They really do, fellas. What the hell was the game thinking? Thinking that I wanted to pass to that player so many times in a game. It's just not once or twice a week. It's happening every single game just to make a simple pass. So the next thing I want to talk about is the new chem system. There are a couple of good things sprinkled in between, fellas, but the old chem system was just old 
old and outdated, coming up against the same team over and over and over again. So this new chem system was a breath of fresh air. And it actually works because I'm not playing the same team over and over and over again. This is by far one of the best features in FIFA in general for a long time. Not just FIFA 23, FIFA in general. Like I said, I don't want to come up against the same teams. It keeps the game fresh. It keeps each game feeling a little bit different. Even though most players all play the same way, like I talked about before with the counter play through balls but this chem system is definitely a step in the right direction it's definitely a step forward now if somebody has Mbappe I don't just see Neymar and Messi for them to get full team chem you know what I mean fellas they actually have different players and with special cards being full chem no matter what I see so many different teams and I bloody love it so the next thing I want to talk about is the goalies again something that was fixed last year has taken another step back backwards fellas it really has the goalies are bloody terrible Terrible. A lot of the time they're just diving the wrong way. Then they don't listen to me when I try and move them to make the save. Oh, they're just so unresponsive. And then other times they do something completely crazy and do the craziest save you've ever seen. They are few and far between. But for the most part, as I said, they're diving the wrong way. A lot of the time choosing the wrong animations over and over and over again. I want the goalie to be somewhat of a last chance savior, if you know what I mean, fellas. Because it makes the games more intense when there's near misses and great goalie saves that's what makes football great but when they just kick it in virtually every time being able to just kick it in the top corner with players with 60 shooting can Travella from outside the box and things like that they need to make shooting a little bit harder and the goalies a little bit better to get the real intense matches that football have in real life with the near misses and the great goalie saves so the next thing I want to talk about is the AI I don't expect the AI to do everything but just do simple normal things that any player would do there's so many times when AI just ball watches the ball will just roll past them a player will just stroll past them and all they have to do is stick out a leg to stop them and they just watch it oh the amount of times that this shit happens they just get in their position and just stand there watching me trying to contain three players covering three passing lanes and they just stand there and watch and without the right tactics the AI is pretty much unbearable I just wish they taught us more about containing players and things like that because I didn't even know about the double R1 tap thing until a few days ago. So the next thing I want to talk about are the new player models. They can't even get that right. We get a brand new player like a Nunez or a Drogba and he's bald or Drogba's white. You know what I mean fellas? If you do have any other player models that are stuffed up like that, leave them in the comments below. I would like to check them out because I find them, find them so bloody funny when you have a white Drogba. How bad can it be when that is happening? World Cup Drogba is a white player model. My God, how lazy are the developers to let this happen? And the attention to detail is something that is not on their minds at all. So the next thing I want to talk about is no reward for manual tackling. If you press circle or B, I think it is on Xbox to tackle, you are at a huge disadvantage. I know, fellas, pressing tackle button to tackle and you're at a disadvantage, but that's a real thing. There is no reward for manual tackling this year. When you manual tackle, you will either kick the ball away from the player and another player will get it, or if you do tackle the player, you'll trip over three times, lose balance, and then that player that you just tackled will get the ball back. You have to auto-jockey this year, or last year and the year before. It's been a while since manual tackling was actually a skill, and it needs to be because we need the skill part back in the game, and we need to put it in the hands of the player and not the CPU. Fact. So the last thing I want to talk about is just a few small things. The foot champs win-loss counter doesn't even work. It took them three years to put a win-loss counter into foot champs. Finally, I don't have to add up my points to find out how many more wins I need. It's something so small and it's something we've needed for a very long time. And they fucked it, fellas. It doesn't even work. It just shows your losses over and over and over again. Even though that you win the game or you're on eight points, it'll show that you're on two losses. It should take a dev 10 minutes to do this shit at really isn't hard. Any coder could put a win-loss counter into a game. It ain't rocket science. And the last thing is a better objective page. It's something so small but would be great is just an updated objectives page. A bit more organized, a bit easier to navigate. When there's so many more objectives, which is a great thing, don't get me wrong, but it needs to be an updated objective page. I don't want to scroll through hundreds and hundreds of objectives just to find one thing so I can unlock a shirt. And why do I have to unlock 
unlock them one by one by one. Instead of unlocking them one by one, allow us to unlock all. It's that simple because this page is a giant mess at the moment. And to be honest, fellas, I don't want to deal with it. It's an it's a clusterfuck on that objective page. It really is. And I'm ranting, I'm raving, I'm mumbling. And that's the last thing I want to talk about. It's just a few final thoughts, fellas. It will be interesting to see what EA football will be like next year. But this year wasn't a write-off. And there are a few things that should be taken to next year's game, like the chem system. But there are a lot of negatives this year. And I'm not joking when I say this, fellas. FIFA 23 is one of the worst FIFAs I've played in a very, very long time. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these rant, raves, whatever you want to call them, don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below all your thoughts and opinions when it comes to FIFA 23's ultimate team. Good, bad, and everything in between. Leave it all in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. I'll catch us later.